we are given here a table and we are given the discrete data we have to find out the mean and the variance of the following distribution so mean can be obtained mu equals to sigma x into fx so this is 1 multiplied by 0.1 plus 2 multiplied by 0.2 plus 3 multiplied by 0.4 plus 4 multiplied by 0.2 plus 5 multiplied by 0.1 and if you add this you will get the mean value is equals to 3 similarly we can calculate the variance for the given probability function that is discrete random variable variance is given as x square into f of x minus mu square so this time you have to square x multiply with the x and then you have to subtract minus mu square so we have 1 square into 0 0.1 plus 2 square into 0 0.2 plus 3 square into 0 0.4 plus 4 square into 0 0.2 plus 5 square into 0 0.1 minus mu square is 3 square you can solve this value and your answer will come very close to 1.2 so in the very simple calculation for finding the mean and variance for discrete random and if you are interested further in the standard deviation you take the under root of variance that is under root of 1.2 take another problem in this case we have given the table but the unknown value given in the form of k and now here we can use the property because the the sum of all possible probability is always equals to 1. So this sum must equal to 1 that equal to 6k. It means that the value of k is equal to 6. So indirectly he has given us the value of k equal to 1 by 6. Remember this is standard property. The sum of px is always equals to 1. Or we can write summation of fx is always equals to 1. Now to find out the mean we use the same equation that is mu is equal to summation of x into fx so this is 1 into k plus 2 into 2k plus 3 into 3k total we get 9 plus 4 13 plus 1 14k 14 divided by 6 which will be 7 by 3 so mean value is 7 by 3 to calculate the variance we have a formula of x square f of x minus mu square so this time you have to square the value of x and multiplied by fx so we have 1 square multiplied by k plus 2 square multiplied by 2k plus 3 square multiplied by 3k minus 7 by 3 whole square so if you do the sum you will get 36k minus 7 by 3 whole square so we have 36 k is 1 by 6 minus 49 by 9 so your final answer is 5 by 9 a discrete this question appear in gate examination discrete random variable x takes the value from 1 to 5 and corresponding the function is also probability also is given student calculate the mean value as x equal to 3.5 and teacher calculate the variance as 1.5 you have to be given 4 choice you have to find out which one is correct so first of all we will calculate mean in this case and then we will calculate variance so mean is given by mu equal to summation of x into f of x so we have 1 into 0.1 that is 0.1 2 into 0.2 that equal to 0.4 3 into 0.4 that equal to 1.2 4 into 1.8 that will be 0 0.8 5 into 0 0.1 equal to 0 0.5 so the mean come out to be 3 it means that the student is wrong now let's check the variance so variance is given by sigma x square fx minus mu square so this time we'll square x and multiply it by x so 1 square is 1 multiplied by 0 0.1 is 0 0.1 2 square is 4, 4 multiplied by 0 0.2, 0 0.8. Then we have 3 square is 9, 9 into 0 0.4 is 0 0.3.6. 3 
we have 4 square is 16, 16 into 0.2 is 3.2. We have 5 square is 25, 25 into 0.1 is 2.5 minus of 3 square. So this answer is equal to 1.2. So where the answer is given by the teacher is 1.5. So actual variance come out to be 1.2. It means that both the student and teacher were wrong. That is the choice B is correct choice in this case. Both student and teacher were wrong. The next question we will find here, the following table x is a discrete random variable which is given to us and standard deviation we want to find out. So for standard deviation we require the variance first. So we have to calculate mu. Mu is given by sigma of x fx. 1 into 0.3 is 0.3. 2 into 0.6 is 1.2. 3 into 0.1 is 0.3. This sum is equals to 1.8. So variance we can calculate as sigma x square f of x minus mu square so this time we have to square this number 1 into point 1 square into point 0.3 is point 0.3 plus 2 square is 4 4 into point 0.6 is 2.4 3 square is 9 into point 0.1 is point 0.9 minus mu square that is minus 1.8 square so this answer equal to point 0.36 we have to find out standard deviation standard deviation is given as under root of variance that is under root of 0.36 so this number is 0.6 so your choice D is correct choice in the next question a machine produces 0 1 2 defective pieces in a day with associate probability of 1 by 6 2 by 3 and 1 by 6 the mean value and the variance of the number you have to find out so this one is discrete random variable so in this case we prepare table first here x represents 0, 1, 2 defective pieces and corresponding probability is p of x. 0, 1, 2. For 0 defective pieces, we have probability is 1 by 6. For 1 defective is 2 by 3. For 2 defective is 1 by 6. This sum is equals to 1. That is confirmed. So we first calculate mu which is equal to sigma x into f of x. So first number is 0. Second number is 1 into 2 by 3 is 2 by 3 plus 2 into 1 by 6 is 1 by 3. So this equals to 1. 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 is 1. Variance is given as under root of x square f of x minus mu square. So this time you have to square x and multiply with f of x. So first number will be again 0. 1 square is same as 1. So this is number is 1 into 2 by 3 is 2 by 3. 4 into 1 by 6 is 2 by 3. Minus mu square is minus 1 square. So is 4 by 3 minus 1 is 1 by 3. So choice A in that case is correct choice. Then one more question is appeared in gate 2017. A 6 phase fair dice is rolled a large number of times. The mean value of the outcome you have to find out. So in a 6 phase pair dice, we have 6 faces having number 1, 2 and 3 like this. So we have possibility of number coming out to be either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and each of them has an equal probability of 1 by 6. So total sample size will be 6 that is n equal to 6. Probability of getting 1 is 1 by 6. Probability of 2 getting 2 is also 1 by 6. So all the numbers will have probability of getting 1 by 6. Like 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 1 by 6. 4 is also 1 by 6. 5 and 6 also has 1 by 6. We want to calculate the mean value. So mean value in this case is given as for discrete random variable. Mean is equal to x summation of x multiplied by f of x. So 1 by 6 is common in this case is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 this number is 7 by 2 is 